Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> to you, Happy Mother's Day. To you, I made you a bowl of beans and rice. <laughs> so you can have some good poo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yep, that's Brian for you. Happy Mother's Day. Well, Mother's Day is today, and it's our first, it's my first being kind of a mom. I'm kind of a mom. Kind of, yeah. Kind of a mom. You know, we have our, we have our little sack up here. And not to mention our little guy, who's a little mad at us right now. Yep. But isn't he so cute? So happy Mother's Day to everyone. What's that smile on your face? Are you smiling? What are you smiling for, Rory? What are you smiling for? What are you smiling for, huh? You're, you're cute. Do you know how cute you are? Oh my gosh, I'm so grateful for Rory. He really has helped me feel like a mom over the last, oh, I don't know, five months that we've had him. I hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful Mother's Day. I know it can be so hard for so many people. I feel you, I totally get it. We may have anxieties and fears and pains and hurt for different reasons, but I understand that Mother's Day is hard. It has been so hard for me to even make a video about Mother's Day. Honestly, it gives me anxiety. Mother's Day is not my favorite day, but I have so many things to be grateful for right now. You know, I have my dog who is just the best. And I have this pregnancy that is a miracle. Oh my gosh, it's such a miracle. And Brian and I are praying and hoping every day that this baby makes it. We're seven weeks pregnant today and we know that this is a crucial part of our pregnancy. We go in for our next ultrasound next week to see if our baby has a heartbeat. I mean, I may not have a child of my own in my arms right now, but I'm still a mom to this little baby inside of me. I have so much to be grateful for right now, but it doesn't change the fact that Mother's Day is so hard, and that it gives me so much anxiety, and that there are other women out there that go through the same feelings that I have of not wanting to go to church, and not wanting to go to family events, not wanting to go to any kind of events really because it is so painful as easy as, as it is to say you know mother's day is for everyone sometimes it's hard to believe it i can be nurturing and mothering to my nieces and my nephews and to the young women at church and to you know my friends kids and um brian's little brother jacob and my siblings and my dog and my husband of course because I am so mothering to him especially him but it doesn't change the fact that Mother's Day is hard and that that one thing that you want you don't have it but I don't think that it makes this day any less yours than anyone else's I don't for a second want to take want anyone or even my heavenly father to feel like i'm taking it for granted i'm so grateful but right now like i'm so afraid of the unknown i'm so afraid of what's gonna happen is my is my baby gonna make it next week we go find out if our baby has a heartbeat and i've been so at peace and so hopeful up until today and all of a sudden the fears start coming in the anxiety start coming and i'm freaking myself out thinking I'm gonna have a miscarriage today. I don't know, like anything bad that could possibly happen to our pregnancy, of course, thinking it's going to happen today because that's just my luck. We want this so badly. I know there are so many wonderful women out there and there are so many wonderful moms. <laughs> Rory, you're a little turkey. <laughs> Go get your toy. Go get your toy. <laughs> Not only am I not a mom, 
but I also have a different background, family background, than a lot of people in in our um, congregation. So that also makes me feel like a little bit of an outcast. And it has for a long time. Um, and the reason is, is because of my relationship with my mom. And that's another reason why I don't like Mother's Day. And then it's so hard for me. Um, my mom, she, she's a recovering drug addict. I don't know how long she's been sober. Maybe a year, maybe longer than that. I don't know. <laughs> But she used to do some hardcore drugs, and uh, I had to grow up early, really fast, really young, and uh, I never understood why I didn't have the mom that so many other people did. And so when I go and I sit at church, and other people are talking about their moms, I just don't, I just don't understand, you know, why I didn't get that too. Mother's Day is really, really hard. It's so hard. Uh, and it's so hard for so many people. Another thing I've learned through my own mom, who she's worked really hard to become sober and to, um, when we've worked hard on our relationship, I've learned what I want and what kind of mom I want to be. So I hope I can love harder, and I can be selfless, and I can be a really amazing, wonderful mom. Hopefully not too helicoptery. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> this is a really, really hard video for me to record. I don't know what to say, and of course all the emotions that I feel come right out. So if you feel like you don't want to go do anything on Mother's Day, don't go do anything. If you need to leave church early, Dude, <laughs> I love church early. Leave church early. Take care of yourself. Take care of your mental and emotional and spiritual health. Take care of take care of yourself. Play with your dogs. You know, take a nap. Watch The Office or Friends or I don't know. There, these are the things that really help me. I still feel at peace with where we are with our pregnancy. I still feel like everything's gonna be okay with our next ultrasound. But for some reason. I let my fear and anxiety on Mother's Day just totally get to me and I let it just take control and give me anxiety and to where I cry and I can't breathe and so I'm so grateful and I hope that baby turns into a baby and that we are able to become parents this year just knowing that I'm not alone on this day knowing that I'm not the only one that left church early knowing that I'm not the only one that has a hard time it makes it much much better also some ice cream might help but we don't have any so i'll have to wait till tomorrow but i'm so grateful for the women out there um there's been a few women my grandma number one my grandma painter number one who without her i don't know where i would be my cousin star sandra freeze I just have so many amazing women around me that have been like mothers to me. Oh my gosh, this whole video is going to be of me crying. <laughs> I hate Mother's Day. Do I have to celebrate it in my house? <laughs> Do I have to? It'll get better, right? <laughs> It'll get better. Maybe it will more so be like a family thing, not just like a mother's thing in our house. Maybe it will be celebrating us becoming a family. I think that's a good idea. Anyway, I just want to wish everyone... <laughs> I just, <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You're so cute, you're so cute. I hope everyone had it, had a good Mother's Day. And if you had a hard one and you left church early and you cried, you know what? I did the same thing. You're not alone. You're not alone, oh my gosh, okay. He's crazy. Anyway, uh, I've been crying for like uh, 20 minutes now. So um, I'm gonna end this early. I just wanna say how grateful I am for the women out there, especially my grandma, my cousin Star, uh, Sandra Freeze, and um, now my mom for becoming sober. How proud of her I am. I know you could do it, mom. I'm so grateful for the 
wonderful examples that I have in my life of strong women with children and without children. Um, one of the most amazing women I met was at this Michael's Maker Summit last year. Her name is Martha and she has never had children but she's just absolutely so wonderful and amazing and just like the the mother to all of her nieces and nephews and just the type of person I want to be and I know that even though some of us will be waiting a little bit longer to have kids than others I know that we can make such a big impact on other people on their lives on their children on our nieces nephews friends kids uh, oh my gosh it just you name it we can have a huge impact and we can change the world because I truly believe we need some more nurturing women out there we need more more nurturing um, sweet kind people out there and that's where you get it from women thank you for watching today um, I know it's just kind of like a sappy video um, this has been really really hard for me to record and it's taking me a lot of guts to be able to do it. Um, I hope everyone has a good week. And uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Um, we would love it, love it, love it if you subscribed. Please comment below any thoughts you've had on Mother's Day or how you handled Mother's Day. Um, what you do to cope. Um, also... Please follow us on Instagram at Carissa Barzee. Thanks for everything. Toodles.